It's been a very confusing, uh, stressful type of uh, couple weeks, uh, but you just have to deal with it. That's the way the game is right now, and uh, you know that's why I'm leaning toward being optimistic that you know Bo will be at Stampeder and I'm conducting business as if he will be. John Hoffnagel using the term optimistic when discussing the likelihood of Bo Levi Mitchell returning to quarterback the Calgary Stampeders next season with CFL free agency set to open at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. After winning the Grey Cup and being named the most outstanding player in the CFL, Mitchell headed south to try out with some NFL teams. Unlike linebackers Alex Singleton and Jameer Thurman, who signed offers after their tryouts, Mitchell's next job remains a question. As more time passes since his December workouts, the likelihood of Mitchell returning to the CFL grows. I don't think the interest is as strong today as it was possibly when he was doing all the workouts. Uh, you know, I've, I have uh, talked to his agent every other day. I know Dave has kept uh, pretty constant uh, communications with Bo. Uh, I just think right now uh, we, we need to establish uh, where we can go, uh, where, what, he, what he wants. Uh, Who's going to set the bar out there uh, with the quarterbacks? So. With a handful of starting quarterbacks set to become free agents in the CFL, the pivot position will be front and center as free agency begins on Tuesday. But the Stampeders have some questions on defense too. Devon Claybrooks has left to become the new head coach of the BC Lions, and linebackers Alex Singleton and Jameer Thurman have both vacated for NFL opportunities. As well, on Monday, John Huffnagel said he would not use the term optimistic when discussing the likelihood of Micah Johnson, their star defensive tackle, re-signing with the Stampeders. In Calgary, for City News, I'm Matt Rose.